The university and secondary school youths today converged at the International University of East Africa, which is hosting the International Youth Festival in collaboration with BRICS Alliance Strategies and other partners. The conference focused on nuclear energy for Africa, cultural identity, education and ecology, among other subjects. The International Atomic Energy Agency has been reviewing Uganda's uranium exploration plan in a bid to develop nuclear energy by 2031. The Ministry of Energy now wants the youths to be ready for the emerging opportunities, as the State Minister for Energy, Okasai Opolot, explained. Everything is going, if you develop nuclear, you have opportunities in the health. You have opportunities in agriculture. You have opportunities in science itself. You have opportunities in business. I'll give you an example of agriculture. The world is going into safe and uh, safe food. And you can attain a specialty in that one. The minister further challenged the youth to attain skills that would be relevant in the robot and artificial intelligence era. Develop the right skill and you'll get where you want. Whether you go leave school or you get out of school without a job from government, you can create your own job. Some, of course, a few challenges, uh, especially to do with uh, funding. For instance, uh, uh, you are aware that there are some uh, skilling centers actually which were put up. If you see like in Tinder, uh, some one of the centers which I very percent in, I don't know that they, they put uh, people there. Uh, I don't want to agree with saying that the skilling centers are actually doing nothing because I can see practicality. You need to visit us so that we can take you to the different uh, skilling centers where you're going to see real action out of the president's vision. University Vice Chancellor Professor Emeka Ake Zewa welcomed those attending. We are making the youth ready for the opportunities, A, by discussing what the new, what the needs are for the continent in these specific areas and the kinds of training that they need in order to be able to take advantage of these you know, um, opportunities that are available to them. Nuclear science is a new phenomenon in Uganda, but the youths have been challenged to ensure that they pick interest in studying it in a country where there are hardly any institutions or universities that offer courses in nuclear science. The Russian government plans to sponsor some of the students from Uganda to study nuclear science back in Russia. Like uh, 2,000 students and give him very strong uh, uh, education for this uh, business. For future and for future can many engineer maybe can work not only here because planning to construction this uh, the same factory also in uh, uh, another country in, in Africa it is uh, going to be our duty uh, to to begin to make more research in the area of nuclear uh, energy so that we can be able to reach out and uh, skill our people skill our youth on how to go about this other angle so we asked the youths what they made of the conference. I have managed to learn so much about nuclear energy. I've learned that the sector is currently expanding because of the partnership that Uganda now has with Russia. And I also do realize that now this friendship with Russia is a good thing for Uganda. I learned how to keep our environment with green protection, to use air and resources. The university will conclude events with the youth culture show in Jinja tomorrow. Sudil Biaruhanga, NTV.